thank you all. Uh, I would like to uh, start my session. Uh, the title of the session we are going to discuss today is the Physical Therapy for Neuromyelitis Optica. Uh, I am Abir I am a professor of Physical Therapy for Neurology, Cairo University. Uh, today we will answer this question. If there is an evidence-based practice for patients with neuromyelitis optica, the term neuromyelitis optica is somewhat uh, new to us. Uh, it's an inflammatory disorder of the central nervous system characterized by severe immune-mediated demyelination and axonal damage uh, targeting an optic nerve leading to optic neuritis and spinal cord leading to myelitis. It affects min 1 to 2 personnel, min col beat alf uh, personnel worldwide. It's also known as defex disease or neuromyelitis optica spectrum disorders. It occurs when the immune system reacts against its own cells in the central nervous system, mainly the optic nerve and the spinal cord injury. It leads to a, a variety of symptoms ranging from eye and vision impairment and loss, depression, muscle weakness in the arm and legs, fatigue, sleep problems, nausea, vomiting, hiccups, pain, spasms in the arm and the leg, paralysis, and the bladder and bowel and functional disorders. The first clinical description of a neuromyelitis optica emerged over a century ago by Devik and Galt, who demonstrated a patient's series of patients with monophysic cause of bilateral optic neuritis and myelitis. In the early stages of the NMO attack, corticosteroids in the form of solimidrol will be given for five days, then will taper it off slowly over several days. Plasma exchange is often recommended as the first and the second or the second treatment, usually uh, in, uh, in addition to steroid therapy. Also, prevention of future attacks is recommended to, to, to take lower doses of corticosteroids over time to prevent future attacks and relapses. Immunosuppressive medications such as Imuran or Tuximab will be given. It was previously believed that NMO and multiple sclerosis are one disease entity. This is no more true as the discovery of disease-specific serum NMO uh, G, uh, IgG that selectively uh, bends with aquaporin-4 has led to increased understanding that NMO is tested and different from the classical re relapsing remitting MS. So it is a separate disease with a distinct etiology. The spinal cord lesions observed in NMO involves many vertebral segments and are associated with gray matter necrosis, where those observed in MS span less than one vertebral segment. This is a differentiation quickly between MS and NMO. Uh, they are mistaken for uh, being one disease. For, uh, uh, for MS, usually the optic nerve informant is unilateral, while for the NMO, it's bilateral. In MS, there is less uh, aggregation to start with. NMO is more aggressive. It's a very aggressive form of, uh, uh, of uh, MS uh, variant. The spinal cord segments involved in MS are less than those in NMO. Uh, the blood for aquaporin-4 is the virtual diagnosis for NMO. The, oligo, uh, glo, uh, the oligoclonal bands are the virtual diagnosis for uh, MS. And uh, for NMO, there are astrocytes involvement and inflammation with aquaporin-4 antibodies in the spinal cord. The pathology involves through stages. The first stage is the IgG, aquaporin IgG antibodies, then the complement and activation, then the astro astropathy leading to neural uh, destruction. The, the diagnostic criteria for NMO is made by optic neuritis, myelitis, and at least two of the three criteria, longitudinal extensive cord lesion, MRO, uh, MRI non-diagnostic uh, of MS, and NMO IgG uh, zero positivity. NMO predominantly affects women. The median age for NMO is the late uh, 30s, as compared to uh, the late 20s for MS. The prognosis about Five years, 50% of the uh, people will require a wheelchair, 62 will functionally be functionally blind. The key goal is the prevention of relapse to limit further damage to the NMO. Recent drug developments deliver treatment options to achieve this. 
living uh, with MS affects a day-to-day -day impact for people diagnosed with NMO. A possible explanation for the lack of research is the, uh, the rarity of the disease and the lack of real cut diagnostic criteria until recently. Considered for many years as a like MS disease, the rehabilitation protocols for MS have been applied to those with NMO. However, spinal cord symptoms such as paraparesis, tetraplegias, and sphincteric disturbance and the visual symptoms tend to be more severe than those with MS. The, uh, the first uh, paper uh, that uh, appeared is, was a case report for rehabilitation of a paraplegic caused by neuromyelitis optica and was a case report. Then later on it was proposed that the rehabilitation protocols for MS has been applied to NMO without specific measure of efficacy. Uh, later on, uh, efficacy and safe safety of rehabilitation exercise were then studied. The rehabilitation exercise com com uh, consists of two uh, parts, a passive rehabilitation, which is uh, applied during an acute phase, then uh, an adverse effect of exercise that was noted, secondary infection, elevated blood glucose, increased blood pressure, and GIT discomfort. An active with is the main phase of rehabilitation consists of strengthening exercise, aerobic exercise, ambulation exercise, push rod transfer training, stretching exercise, and balance training. The rehabilitation composed of five sessions per week at moderate intensity for 30 to 60 minutes during hospitalization. A mean hospital stay was uh, 19 days. The program focused on a body movements, a sensation, activity of ADL, while other problems of NMO such as swallowing, bowel movement, and cognition were not included. Strength training involves in training for the major muscles such as the core muscle, the clam exercise, the pelvic bridging and sit to stand, also a partial squat using a ball, uh, also aerobic exercise was performed 10 minutes continuously every day such as walking, running, cycling up and down the steps. Ambulation using a parallel bar with uh, using an appropriate AFO, uh, using a walker, and using a standing frame and the exoskeleton uh, most recent and the locomotor as uh, <coughs> Dr. Amr uh, pointed to the use of artificial intelligence in rehabilitation of gait in p with different patients in MS and NMO, a transfer training, balance training which is very important for the patients with NMO and they are have paraplegia and tetraplegia which affect mainly the balance Balance training can be used as single limb, uh, single limb standing, standing on a cushion and <coughs> drawing a circle with the foot. A stretching exercise, I would like to say it's one of the most important exercises and should be done daily. The figure uh, on, the, uh, right, on the left there, a lower 30 minute stretch is one of the most appropriate position for stretching lateral trunk flexors the calf muscles, the hamstrings, the adductor muscles. It's one of the very uh, important uh, positions to uh, take. Also, hydrotherapy is very uh, beneficial. The effectiveness of rehabilitation interventions, review of reviews, uh, have, have uh, said that rehabilitation should target individual needs and to be performed by exp ex experienced teams. Evidence exists for the effect of multidisciplinary cognitive and uh, exercise approaches. Uh, also, uh, we have to uh, refer to the blood training program, which includes pelvic floor muscle training, neuromodulation, and behavior training. Pelvic floor muscle training consists of muscle re-education and strengthening exercise and biofeedback. Four treatment sessions of physiotherapy per week conducted over a four week. Uh, sacral neuromodulation, transcranial tibial neuromodulation, percutaneous tibial neuromodulation, abidandal and genital neuromodulation via vaginal or anal block equipped with electrode or circular penile electrodes seems to show similar effects although stimulation occurs at different sites of the body. Transcranial uh, posterior tibial nerve stimulation was applied unilaterally with two adhesive electrodes placed above and behind the medial malleoli of the right ankle. Electrical stimulation was applied by using charge compensated uh, uh, 200 
uh, uh, microsecond pulses with a pulse rate of 10 Hz. The intensity level was just above the perception threshold, but before that, which causes pain, used for 20 minutes every day for three months. Pelvic floor vaginal paradox stimulation. Uh, the stimulator generated by phasic current balances with, uh, balance, uh, pulses with a duration of one millisecond and the frequency of Hamza Hertz in case of predominant stress urinary incontinence or 20 Hertz in case of predominant urge urinary incontinence. Or after the blood electrode was inserted into the vagina, the patient were treated with two seconds contraction time and duty cycle of one to two seconds with stimulation intensity uh, gradually increasing up to the level of tolerant, tolerable discomfort. Maximum electrical stimulation was applied for uh, 30 minutes, uh, three times per week for a total of 24 sessions. Behavior training includes avoidance of bladder irritant, a time avoiding schedule, a fluid management, and dietary modification. Pelvic floor rehabilitation uh, in treatment of mixed urinary incontinence. It was found that biofig assisted pelvic floor training with electrical stimulation is as effective as inogenital neuromodulation and posterior tibial neuromodulation in treatment of mixed urinary incontinence. Thank you.